what's up y'all i'm back with another video in today's video um i get a lot of comments on how i maintain my length so i'm going to show you guys how i do that while blow drying my hair so first i start by moisturizing my hair make sure you, i make sure my hair is super moisturized i actually washed my hair the day before and i fell asleep and forgot to blow dry my hair so my hair is extremely dry so i'm really really making sure my hair is extremely like soaking wet and i'm gonna Leave-in conditioner is optional, but it is very recommended because it helps with natural hair, three type 3, type 4 natural hair. Our hair is very kinky, and it gets extremely dry, so moisturizing your hair is a must. So leave-in conditioner helps to keep your hair moisturized until it's time to do your hair again. So after I apply my leave-in conditioner, I use a heat protectant. And this is only, like I said, I'm only showing you for when I'm blow drying my hair. If I was just styling my hair, no heat protectant necessary, but I'm showing you how I maintain my length with blow drying because I blow dry my hair quite often. And I know a lot of people say, you know, don't use a lot of heat, but that does, heat technically does not ruin your hair. It's the way you take care of your hair that ruins your hair. Heat has nothing to do with it. It plays a big part if you're not using it properly, but I'm showing you how to properly use it. And still maintain your leave and still maintain your length so this is how i blow dry my hair i first i just like to chase my hair with my blow dryer i don't begin combing it nothing i make sure it's detangled before i do that and i just stretch it out and then just let my blow dryer get the length of my hair and then i go back and use my paddle brush and blow dry my hair i know a lot of stylists they just go in straight when it's wet and just start using the paddle brush and start blow drying it may, I'm not sure if that, you know, I haven't been to a hairdresser, hairstylist in so long because it never, every time I went to a stylist, my hair was getting shorter. It never grew. And my hair never started to grow until, until I started doing it myself. So I don't know if what they're doing is just not helpful to helping our hair grow or if they just, you know, they're rushing through it. I don't know, but my hair didn't start going until I start doing it and I start using this method to blow dry my hair. I just felt like my, my hair was being pulled, pulled because our hair is so kinky and it curls up so tight that if you go straight in and just start using a paddle brush and you're, you pat, you're, you're blow drying our hair the length of our hair, if our hair is long, you're breaking off our ends because you have to properly detangle the hair first. So that's just my theory on it. I don't know. I'm not no stylist. I could be wrong, but all I know is ain't no stylist ever helped my hair grow. So, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so, like I said, I just I detangle my hair. I stretch my hair all the way to, to its full length. And then I go in with my paddle brush and begin to blow dry it completely straight. So once I get my hair completely straight, I work in two halves. So one half of my head and the other half of my head. So once I get the one half of my head done, then I go in and clip my ends. And I only do this when necessary. I'm telling y'all, sometimes I go like six months to a year without clipping my ends because I take care of my hair myself. So my ends are never really that bad. I'm telling y'all, my hair was only terrible when I was going to the stylist. When I started doing it myself, I didn't have to get clipped my ends clipped that often, my hair started to grow, 
and my hair got thicker. I'm telling y'all, I don't know if just certain stylists, but I had to just do it myself and I'm loving the results. So, um, one major, 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 major thing that I've learned with being natural and doing my hair myself is protecting your ends. Your ends are the oldest part of your hair because you know your roots produce new growth. Your ends are what's the fra- is the most fragile part of your hair, and that's the part you want to keep the healthiest if you want your hair to continue to keep growing and maintain your length. So I make sure to use jojoba oil on the ends of my hair because it's a conditioning oil and it keeps my hair extremely moisturized because the ends of my hair is what gets the driest. So once I finish with both sides of my hair, I blow dry both sides out, clip my ends on both sides, added my jojoba oil to both sides. I undo my braids and I just blow dry my whole head in its entirety. And that is basically what I do to maintain my length, guys. Like, it's really nothing to it. It's just learning what works for your hair and because everybody's hair is the everybody hair, everyone's hair is different, whether you're type four, type three, all the other ones are not really kinky, so I'm gonna just stick with type three and type four hair. Um everything you have to find your own routine, whatever works for you. But this is what I mainly do to maintain my length. Is I really focus on the ends of my hair. That's the main thing. Make sure you're moisturizing the ends of your hair and make sure that you are not using too much manipulation on your hair. If you're going to blow dry your hair, make sure to stretch your hair out before blow drying it because you don't want to be yanking at your hair if you have long hair trying to blow dry it to its full length. So this is how long my hair is to date. I am super excited. I wish I had a picture of how it was when I was going to the hairstylist about five, six years ago. It was nowhere near this. I could barely get it past my neckline. And I'm going to do a quick little style. So I'm using Tresemme Mousse. Um, I think that's Shine and Hope Mousse. I can't, I can't remember which one I used. But I'm using that in my bigger size perm rods. And I'm just going to do a quick little perm rod set, 10 perm rods. I make sure I add extra virgin olive oil to keep my hair moisturized because I do not play about the moisture of my hair, y'all. I'm telling y'all the ends is the most important part and you will thank me later because your hair is it will start growing once you focus on the ends of your hair. So my hair turned out very soft, very fluffy. My curls were very defined. Um, I really couldn't find a hairstyle that I liked <laughs> to put it in. My two little bangs that I was trying to do, it just wouldn't lay how I wanted it to. So I just ended up doing a up, half up, half down, quick style. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to let me know down in the comments some other videos you would like to see me do. And I will see you guys on my next video.